In this video, we will look at solving a basic distance problem by organizing the important information in a distance table. To organize our distance table, we'll remember the relationship that rate times time is equal to the distance traveled. In this problem, we have two joggers starting from opposite ends of an eight-mile course, and they're running towards each other. One jogger is running at a rate of four miles per hour. Let's put that in our table. First jogger runs at a rate of four miles per hour. The other running at a rate of six miles per hour. Let's put that in our table. The second rate is six miles per hour. We want to know after how long will the joggers meet. We don't know the amount of time they're traveling. We do know they're traveling at the same time, though, so let's use the same variable t for both of their times. To calculate distance, we multiply rate times time. Four times t is four t, and six times t is six t. Looking at the little picture we show, where we've got the first person running to the right and the second person running to the left, we know the total distance between them is eight miles. This means if we combined A's distance with B's distance, together we get eight miles. Combining them means we will add the distances, and together they should equal the total distance of eight miles. This, then, last column can become an equation we can solve. The first distance, 4t, plus the second distance, 6t, equals the total distance of 8 miles. This equation we can quickly solve by combining like terms to get 10t equals 8, and finally dividing both sides by 10, to get t is equal to four-fifths of an hour, or you might say 48 minutes. After four-fifths of an hour, or 48 minutes, these joggers will meet in the middle. By clearly identifying the rate and time, and multiplying those to get the distance, we fill in our distance table. Then, we noticed that we were adding the distances together, as they were traveling in opposite directions, to get the total distance of 8. That told us we were adding the distance to equal the total of 8, which gave us an equation we could solve to find the missing variable, the time.